Father God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Israel, the Father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, it says in Jeremiah 23 and verse 20 through 23, I am, I am a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God far, far off. Father God, your child wants a deeper relationship with you. They want, they want you, they want to be in your presence. And according to Jeremiah, you're revealing that you are not really afar off. It said in John 3 and 16, For God's will of the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Father God, here in the scripture we're seeing the relationship that you want to have with us and how you went all out to save us so that you can come back in our spirit. This reveals the relationship that we ought to have with you and how close you want to be with us. Psalm 73 and verse 28. But it is good for me to draw nigh to God. Father God, your child is realizing and sensing that they it's a good thing to draw nigh to you. James 4 and 8, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Father God, your child has realized because of scripture that the only way to get you to come to them or to get your presence with them, that they have to draw nigh to you. Father God, your child wants a deep relationship with you, a relationship that doesn't hurt. As with relationships, we know, we know that relationships outside of you hurt. Relationship with family, friends, relationships with with people we love, those who we date and marry, it, it can be very hurtful at times. Father God, your child doesn't want a hurtful relationship. This is why they are now seeking you with all their whole heart. This is why they want your presence. This is why they want to be in your presence, because it doesn't hurt. It will never hurt. Father God, this is the true kind of relationship that we all want. Father God, this is relationship that your child is seeking from you. They want a relationship that doesn't lack love. As we are so used to dating and marrying and friends and family, sometimes they lack love and they, we see it, they display it. Sometimes because we're human, the lack of love is there. Father God, your child wants to be in your presence because they there is no lack of, of love. Father God, your, your child has gotten to the point where they are tired of sin. They are tired of sin in their life because it builds up a wall between you and them. And Father God, see to it that you will, you will see your child's heart and start preparing things where you can help bring you, your child and you together. Father God, your child wants, wants to be in your presence. It hurts them when they are apart from you or when they are outside of your presence. Father God, your child wants your glory to surround them. We ask you, Father God, to see to it that you will start taking things, start setting things up so that this can take place in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we ask you to take dominion in your child's life. See to it, Father God, that you'll begin to outpour your love upon them so that your child can feel secure in your presence as they always do, did and always do, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, your child wants a deeper, meaningful relationship with you. Father God, see to it that this that you will cause this to come to pass in their life so that you can reveal your will to them. Father God, your child wants to be sensitive to your word so that they can grow in faith. See with Father God that in your presence, your child knows that this is only the way they can get to know your will. And your child wants to do your will in every situation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, see to it that you in your presence, your child knows that you will lead them into all truth. They know that there is that 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 being in your presence, they will they will fear you more. Father God, your child wants the intimacy with you. They have been keeping their heart 
and their heart open only for you. Father God, your child knows that when they sin less, they will become more sensitive to your feelings. And this is why they sin less, because they know they are hurting you. Father God, see to it that your child will, will that your presence will come down upon your child. See to it that you will surround them so that your child will grow in your love in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, see to it that as your presence comes down upon your child, see to it that they will be filled with your peace and your temperance and faith in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, your child wants to worship you. They want to worship you in your presence. They want to tell you how sweet and wonderful you are. Father God, your child loves to spend time with you. Love wants to spend time together. Love hates distance. Father God, see to it that you will, that your child will draw closer and closer to you each day, so that you will draw closer and closer to them each day in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Father God, see to it that as your presence has come down upon your child, that your child will begin to develop a godly character. See to it, Father God, that you will see that your child has been pressing and pressing and seeking and seeking and knocking and knocking to get in your presence. See to it, Father God, that you will manifest your full presence upon them and in their life so that your child will bear good fruit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, your child wants to experience unspeakable joy and unlimited grace. And only you, Father God, can fill that emptiness. See to it, Father God, that you will continue to walk with your child and continue to have a deep walk have your child to continue to have a deep walk with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.